Hey gamers, my name is Minus10, and I'm a middle-aged gamer that enjoys all gear related to gaming, streaming, and content creation. Today, we are going to take a first look at the Asus ROG Keras 2 Ace, which appears to be a head-to-head -head competitor to the very excellent Logitech G Pro X Super Lite 2. For the past year, Asus has been on an absolute tear with a ton of great new gaming gear. Now, both the Super Lite and the Keras versions 2 gaming mice retail for $159, and I'm super excited to see if the Keras 2 will be able to replace my very solid and very well-tested Logitech gaming mouse. So uh, before we jump in, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, specs on the back here. So uh, first up, and this is one thing that's very interesting I'm looking to try, is they have the ROG optical micro switches with instant activation, and 100 million click durability. I'll, I'll never, it'll never last 100 million clicks. That's pretty good. Now, the DPI goes up to 42,000. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I've never used a gaming mouse at 42,000 DPI, uh, but sort of uh, a little bit of swagger there. Now, as for the polling rate, the Keras 2 has a, a wired polling rate of 4,000 Hertz. And if you run it wired, you'll have 8,000 Hertz. So that'll be interesting to try out as well. Uh, now I've seen some wireless mice with 8,000 Hertz pulling, but the battery just drains too quickly. It'll also be interesting to see how much that impacts the, uh, the system. Uh, next up, we've got the weight of 54 grams. We'll weigh these next. And then lastly, uh, the very excellent uh, Asus Speed Nova dongle. Let's go ahead and open this box up and let's see what's inside. Um, oh, interesting. So it has a very Apple-esque uh, opening. There's no more tape, it's just these pull tabs. So let's rip these off. Okay, that didn't come off too easily. Glue's a little tight. I think we're, I think we're still gonna need to use the knife on that. Okay, so. A valiant effort by Asus to emulate uh, Apple there, but I think we're still going to have to use the sturdy knife. There we go. Okay, that's in. Okay, let's go ahead and... Okay, this opens up this way. Oh, very, very cool. Uh, a sign note from... Uh, the general manager of Asus. Nice. Put that off to the side. And it looks like it's well wrapped. Oh, it comes in a little bag here. Pull that out. Ooh, oh, very clicky. Okay, that feels nice. That does feel nice. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Okay, so we've got, uh, this looks like an extender. Uh, I never use these, but if you need it, it's there. And then, uh, okay, now we have, uh, this is a, a pretty meaty dongle here too. I'll get it up to the camera so you can take a closer look, but it's, it's definitely beefier. Now it's supposed to be uh, usable across multiple devices and I'll test it with my Azoth as well. We'll see if that works. And over here, very nice, uh, very nice braided cable. Uh, we've got uh, USB type A to USB type C, but very nice, uh, very nice braided cable. And then lastly, we've got, oh, what is this? Are these grip? These are grips. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Hats off to Asus, because normally you have to buy these separately on Amazon or, or Newegg, but they include my script with a rather cool, cool design on there. Uh, and it says, uh, for those who dare. All right. That's a very nice touch. And they're using a 3M adhesive. Excellent. Good job, Asus. Uh, I think that is it. Oh, and of course you got your obligatory, uh, 
gaming stickers, which I won't be using. So let's compare the Keras 2 to the Logitech G Pro X Super Lite 2 and just sort of see how they compare. So let me get these lined up. Uh, okay, so first impressions, the, the Keras 2 is definitely smaller. It's definitely smaller than the Logitech G Pro. And I'll flip it over so you can see the bottoms here. Uh, it's got four, it looks like four skates here. Ooh, very, very nice. They feel very fast. Uh, and then you've got a, uh, it does connect via Bluetooth as well. Not that I would use Bluetooth, but you can use that if you want to. And uh, it looks like, okay, so then this is a, this is the DPI button here. And this I'm assuming is an on off switch. So in the hands, the, it's hard to tell, but it looks like the ROG comes up a little higher in the back. You can definitely see this in the camera. There's a, a shape up here where it comes up a little bit. So your hand leans a little bit over to the right, which is not a bad feel. Uh, it's definitely smaller, so my fingers are are hanging over the edge edge of the mouse where the Super Light 2, they go right up to the edge. And I, I use a full body grip. I'm not sure what that's called, but it uh, feels nice. So let's uh, let's hear how they sound click-wise. So I think the Keras click is a little bit more quiet than the uh, G Pro X Super Lite 2, but uh, both sound good. They both feel quality. So now let's compare the Keras 2 to the Super Lite 2 from a weight perspective. So as you can see, the Keras 2 is substantially lighter than the Super Lite 2, and, and that'll be nice. Not that it'll be a huge difference for me, but in the era of lighter and lighter gaming mice, clearly the Keras 2 is the much lighter mouse. And just by holding them together, you can tell that the Keras 2 is a lighter mouse. Over the next week, I'm going to game and work exclusively on the Keras 2 Ace and see if it will be crowned as my new daily driver. Don't forget to check my channel for my coming review. Now, if you enjoyed this first impressions video of the ASUS ROG Keras 2 Ace, I'd really appreciate a like on the video as well as a sub if you'd like to follow me as a creator. All comments below are welcome too. Thanks for watching.